Okay, it's Sunday, 10 a.m., and time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Now, if you're not already doing this, please go ahead and follow me on Twitter. From now on, I'm going to start tweeting out 10 minutes before I record these episodes. So if you're really, you know, you're looking to get involved, you're looking to be featured on the video, uh, look out for my tweets. I'll tweet about 10 minutes before I start recording from now on. Um, so whenever that might be, uh, you guys will get the best chance if you're following me on Twitter. So please go and do so. It's just at its Haber. There is a link always in my description down below. So it's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. If you want to be featured in these episodes, please send me a, a HD screenshot or two, depending depending on what you play in game um, and just give me a description of your team always tweet them to me using the hashtag it's Haber please don't at me use the hashtag it's Haber um, as the way Twitter works hashtags are pretty much the only relevant search term on there that will actually give you up-to-date uh, feedback on sort of what you're you're looking for basically so as you see 19 minutes ago 26 minutes ago um, it's all because of the hashtag essentially if it's in my notifications it just gets lost there I do apologize um, but the hashtag is the best way to do it so please just tweet me with a uh, with a hashtag basically um, and that is the best way to uh, to do it so we're going to start off with Josh Abbotts uh, he says all the team of the year nominees are tradable including the bench the rest are untradable I have 250,000 uh, coins for upgrades and I don't mind saving okay so we are going to get a lot of like team of the year nominee cards in these videos now first things first I would sell team of the year delict I'm going to call them team of the years I know the team of the year nominees but I'm going to call them team of the years for the sake that it's just going to be quicker um now yeah, I, I would sell Team of the Year Delict uh, and the re and I'd sell Vertonghen as well. I'm going to show you why right now. So, um, Delict is currently how much on the market? Uh, I, I can't imagine he's that much. Maybe 40, 50k, something like that. Not even. 17,000 coins. I'd sell this card and I'd get this card. This is the card that I've been using in my team recently. And it's really, really good for 115k. It's a solid left-back card. I'd go with Alexandro to stay as your, um, your go-to left-back. Now, that'll put you on... Uh, probably about 150-ish K. Then you can sort of go with whichever Premier League centre-back you feel most comfortable with. Um, whether that be like a Davinson Sanchez. I don't know if the Prem's got any Team of the Year nominee players that are at centre-back. We'll actually have to quickly have a look at this and see sort of uh, sort of what we're looking at here in terms of, of Premier League. Now, what console are you on? You're on Xbox. So uh, let's go with uh, the Xbox prices here. Can we swap that to um xbox price no we can't okay um in terms of what we're looking for here you've got about 150 ish k to spend um is that team of the year nominee or is this a ucl card there is a team of the year nominee laporte you could afford it as well this would be a good card to get uh, so i think you replace for tongan with laporte you replace delict with alexandro both team of the year nominee cards and i think you stick with your team as is for now i like sort of how you set up here um I, I do like it maybe ericsson over on the left and dabala on the right for the uh ball roll uh, finesse shots as they're pretty op um but aside from that i think this team is really nice i do like it a lot uh moving on now we've got nfl x newton nationals ws champions J <laughs> okay well um i don't I, i'm guessing that's like an american football team uh but he says love the vids thank you very much appreciate that kdb mertens has our best essay are tradable with a million coins new to fifa would love ideas okay New to FIFA. I, I mean, I respect the team if you're new to FIFA. That's, that's actually a really nice team for someone that's pretty new to FIFA. Um, now, with a million coins to spend, I think first things first, you're looking at upgrading this sort of left side. Um, yeah, without a doubt, I'd, I'd start upgrading this left side here. I'd go for Rafael Varane. I wouldn't go for the Inform card because it's actually a minimal upgrade for like 300 or 400k. I'd go for like the 180, 190k um, normal version of Rafael Varane and I'd stick him over here at left center back. Uh, what else would I do? I personally wouldn't have done Witzel if I were you, but uh, he looks like you're probably not too worried. I mean, there's not a whole lot of massive options that you could use over Witzel. Uh, so it's probably not going to be the, the biggest of deals. Now, is that an untradable Hazard? Hazard is tradable. Okay, so what would I do with this over here, this setup? Now, would I keep 92 Hazard or would I move on to a better card? I think keeping 92 Hazard wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. I think the only difficult thing with this team is that you've got a lot of players like, for example, Mertens and Witzel and stuff like that that are in different leagues that would make life a bit difficult. I suppose what you could do... Um, now, it would... I don't know if you'd 
particularly be fond of the upgrade or not. I personally would do this. I, I know you've just spent like 60k on that Vitzel. I would bench Vitzel personally. Uh, I would then uh, look to possibly bring in, uh, you know, sort of, I was going to say Blaze Matweedy if he's got a, a better version of his card. And the reason why I'm saying this, you'll see in a second, because uh, it's a card that I've been using recently. Does he have, he didn't have a, uh, didn't have a, cha a team of the year nominee card. Um, I think you're sacrificing a bit of CDM here, but I would actually replace your Mertens with Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I don't know if there's been a change in the game recently, but Ronaldo feels way better for me than, than Lionel Messi or someone like that. Uh, I think Mertens is closer to Lionel Messi than than, uh, than he is to Cristiano Ronaldo, if that makes sense. You know, he's more agile, smaller player. Ronaldo, for me, is just playing unreal in the weekend league. He's just running through people and scoring goals for fun, um, which is why I would say... Uh, a great option would possibly be replacing uh, Vitzel with Matuidi and then uh, replacing Mertens with Cristiano Ronaldo because Ronaldo is actually cr pretty cheap in, in comparison to where he's been in previous uh, in previous points in FIFA. He's just over a million, so uh, I think you can afford it. Is your Mertens tradable? Mertens is tradable, so selling Mertens definitely. And then you've got you know your lone striker Ronaldo, fantastic cams. Um, Matuidi will be a good CDM. If there is other options in Juve that have special cards that I just can't think of at the top of my head, then then go with them as well. Or maybe you can think of a better option that you want to go with. I don't know. It's completely up to you, obviously. But I would personally go with that. Um, and then obviously, if you're really struggling like at half time or something, you have like probably a loan Kante, but you have um, Polinio on the bench you could bring on or De Jong or someone like that. That might help you as more of a box to box than Matuidi. But I think Matuidi's pretty good still. Uh, but I would go with that. I think you've got a great option here to go with someone like Ronaldo in your team. Alternatively, you could go with like an icon that's pretty high rated as well or a pretty decent icon. Off the top of my head, I don't know who you go with that's going to be better than Ronaldo, but completely uh, your choice, I guess. Um, anyway, the next one's coming from Dante. Now we're down to the lower end. Not lower end, but we're down to the... Uh, the not quite million coin upgrades here. Uh, but this is from Dante Lull, who says untradables are Son, King, Vardy, ZH, and Deli Ali. The rest are bench. The rest of bench are loans. Have 65k. Keep up the good work. So your untradables are Son. You call untradable Son, uh, King, Vardy, ZH, and Deli Ali. Well, you've got some pretty incredible um, first owner players here, especially Son. That's actually mental. Um, do you play this in game? I'm, I, I can't imagine you play the four five one in game. I really can't. I mean. Maybe you play the four two three one. What would I do with this team? How would I how would I fit people in? How would I get chemistry things like that? I mean, you've got sixty five thousand coins. The first option I could think of is is selling Allison, uh, selling Devins and Sanchez, selling um, yeah, selling 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 Allison and, and Sanchez. Uh, I would then bring in probably the Stegen and uh, Longley. Uh, and that gives you full chem on De Jong, long lay to Stegen. Um, I'm pretty sure you can afford that. If you can't, then go with like Neto in goal and get long lay. Uh, I'd then probably sell Robertson if he's not untradeable, which he isn't. So I'd, I'd then sell Robertson as well. Uh, and probably bring in, uh, obviously it will be a bit of a downgrade at left back, but you can bring in like the likes of Danny Rose or, or Ben Davies or someone like that um, to get the strong link with Hyungmin Son. Um, alternatively, you could uh, swap over... Um, you could swap over King with Wijnaldum, keep King off Kem, um, but then bring Deli Ali on for Wijnaldum. So that Son's got the link and then you've got Ferland Mendy at left back. Um, I would just look to sort of in improve your chemistry more than anything. I think your chemistry is lacking. I, I think players off Kem, uh, one or two is fine, but when you get like three, four, five, sometimes it will have a down, down effect on your team, basically. So that's what I would look to do with your team. Uh, I think it's a nice team. Though. I like I like your Andrade Awards. You got... <laughs> Pretty crazy. Look, I never hit really good gold upgrade packs. I just don't. I, I seem to get good tradable packs, but gold upgrade packs, I just never seem to get great ones. Uh, anyway, Arthur's team now. Uh, Pep, uh, Werner, Tagliafico, and the whole bench are untradable. I'm poor right now. Only got like 30k for improvements. I play the same formation in game. By the way, love the vids. Keep the great content. Thank you, Arthur. So, okay. So, Pep, Werner, Tagliafico, and the bench are untradable. Uh, 30k for improvements. Um, I'm guessing Nabry's also untradable, uh, obviously. What to do? I want to do this team uh i think david silver and kyle walker are gone i would get rid of them straight away what i would go with is at right back nelson Semedo, and then at right center mid i would go with uh frankie de Jong. um now you've got 30k how much is kyle walker going for right now that ucl version i know they're probably exactly the same price um 24k gets you to 54k uh david silver is currently going for um that's a UCL version. His normal card is going for 
32k. So that puts you on to 80 something K. Uh, now you have a long lay on the bench, but no, it's not going to help. Um, yeah, so just go with normal Nelson Tomato. I think it's going to take you back about 10k. Frankie De Jong's normal card as well is probably going to take you back maybe 40k, 50k, if that, maybe a little bit less nowadays. Um, and I think that you've already strengthened your midfield. And, you know, he, I think Nelson Tomato is pretty much just as good as, uh, as Kyle Walker. Uh, I don't think you really miss out on anything there. But apart from that, I think your team's solid. Next stop, obviously, to upgrading your Werner eventually. Um, and then, you know, this left side, upgrading it for a better left side. You know, eventually maybe getting the uh, road to the final Neres. Um, if that wasn't an SBC, which I don't think it was, I'm pretty sure that was a trade or it is a tradable card. Uh, and then, and then eventually obviously just scrapping the whole thing, getting like a Neymar, uh, and, and getting Brazilians and things like that. So no, I go with that though. Uh, apart from that, I think your team is, uh, is solid. Definitely. Uh, the next one is from Jack Johnson. He says to play the same formation in game and have 150k left over. Guardiola, Quadrado and Benzema are untradeable. What would you rate this team and what would you change? Um, oh, I forgot. I forgot to rate teams. I do apologize. It's still new to me. I've totally forgot. Um, let's go all the way to the, the start. So this, Josh Abbott's with the first one. So Josh is going to have to give an eight. No, I'm going to have to give an 8.8 .8 because I rate 8.8 .8 out of eight. So very, very nice team. Uh, the next one I'm going to have to give for, for someone that's just started FIFA. I'm giving this a nine. If you're very new to FIFA, this is impressive. For someone that's pretty new to FIFA. I know obviously he's got a red Kyle Walker, but he could have started just this year. I know my first year of FIFA was FIFA 12 and I have, I had like 30 chemistry. I didn't know how to play. Uh, Dante's team, I'm going to give it a six and a half. Um, Arthur's team, I'm going to have to give a seven. Uh, and now Jack Johnson's. Um, so, uh, with 150k left over with this team, uh, and Quadrado, Guardiola and Benzema being untradeable, what would I change with this team? This is looking nice already. I would honestly, and this is going to be a bit of a weird one for me to recommend because this SBC isn't great value, but I have personally done it and I'm really liking the card. I would look possibly to getting towards this Malqui card if you can. Now you've only got until I think 6 p.m. To, uh, today uh, if you're watching this on Sunday and it is quite expensive for this card. Don't get me wrong. I know it's not the best suggestion, but if you're unhappy with Quadrado, I would look towards possibly getting Malqui. Um, now it's going to take up most of the budget you have, but if you have players in your club, you can do it for a lot cheaper. Alternatively, if you're happy with uh, Quadrado, I would hold on to him. Uh, I wouldn't do the Malqui unless you're really uh, unhappy with Quadrado because uh, Malqui is really expensive. Um, with the rest of the team, though, what would I look to improve? Honestly, I think the only thing I would upgrade with this team, I would get rid personally. I would I would put Benzema down to left cam and I would put a striker starting wise in Signe, and I, I would put Insigne down to Cam and Benzema up top in game. Uh, the reason why I do that is because I don't like Griezmann this year. I think he's not great and Insigne is unreal this year. I, I used him for the first time uh, yesterday against Jack or the day before against Jack and since then I've been loving him. He's actually great so I, I'd recommend that. Uh, aside from that, I think that your team is very, very nice. I'll give it a solid 7.7. .7. I think it's a really nice team. Not quite an 8 but close. Uh, next one is from Hamzy who says, Hey, hey, but I have 70k spare. Everyone's tradable. Keep with the great work. Thank you very much. Okay, so everyone's tradable 70k. Where are your weak links? I think Firmino is a weak link. I would get rid of Firmino. Um, how much is Aubameyang going for these days? Because I really like Aubameyang this year as well. Um, Aubameyang's 88 card is 115k. Now, how many coins did you say you had? You had 70k, and Firmino is probably going for. I reckon you could stretch to it. Oh, I can't spell. Uh, how much is this card? 22 oh, you're on 92k you, is anyone on your bench tradable for example is this cancelo tradable is this a tradable bail or a loan bail uh, i'm guessing it's a loan bail but i'm guessing maybe a tradable cancelo if it is i would personally go ahead and sell that cancelo to get towards a bamiang up top i wouldn't change anything else about the team just that if you can if not just grind towards getting a bamiang up top because i think you'll definitely appreciate having that bamiang card uh, i know i know straight away uh, that it's going to put you off chem easiest way like solution for this is playing a four a starting a 4333 that brings allen down to a cdm um i don't think that makes a left centimeter and right centimeter link i'm gonna quickly double check that formation just in case but is it i'm pretty sure it doesn't where is it is it a three? Oh, sorry four three three two this one yeah so obviously you have allen who's linking with the two center backs here um why now i'm over here as usual Fabinho over here as usual, then a Bami up top, and uh, and then just change to your desired formation in game, um, and that's what I would do personally with this team. Uh, I'd get, I'd give this team a solid uh, seven out of ten as well. It's pretty average, you know. It's just an alright team. Um, 
Next one from Casper says, I play four triple two in game. Untradeables are Butra, Gueno, and David Villa. Got the likes of Politano, Aubameyang, Sane, Inform Pereira, and Robertson on the bench. All untradeable. Also got 220k to spend. Oof. That is a very nice team. Uh, what would I change about this team? So you play a four triple two. Do you know, the only thing I would do, and this is not even an upgrade yet. This is, this is, you're looking towards the future. First things first, uh, I want to quickly double check one card just in case, see what the stats of this card are. What are the, uh, what are the stats of this? They're not, they're not great, are they? Yeah, I mean, they're not great. I'd keep, I'd honestly keep Walker off cam. I really would over here at, uh, at right back. What I'd do with this team, and this is the only thing I would do, I would start saving now towards getting uh, Mbappe. Um, and once you have Mbappe uh, eventually in the team, then I would look towards if, you know, later down the line, we get, for example, a team of the year, Trent Alexander-Arnold in January, uh, work towards that card as well with foot champs and div rivals and things. You can grind towards that eventually and trading and things like that. If you if you buy packs as well, that will help. Uh, but yeah, I think your next priority is probably Mbappe. Um, and then after that, then the sky's your limit, really. You can go with whoever you want in the team to upgrade. But uh, surprisingly, I'm not going to tell him to get Furlan Mendy. I know you did that on purpose, right? I know you're trying to get me to say Furlan Mendy, right? I'm sorry. Uh, no, but I'd say this team is a very nice team. I'm going to have to give it an eight. I think it's a good team. Uh, I think it's definitely uh, a high, higher end team. Um, oh my God. What the hell? Okay. Well, this is an interesting way of putting it. It's just a phone size though. I'm going to, I've already clicked it. I'm going to review it, but I'm not going to do any more phone size ones just because imagine you're watching this on a phone and I've already downscaled this video and that's already a downscale photo. It's going to be tiny. That's all I'm saying. Um, but what would I say about this team? Uh, let's have a look. The nice team. What did you say about it? You just, you didn't tell me anything about it, did you? Okay, cool. Great. He's not even told, you know what? No, I'm not even going to rate that team. I'm sorry. You, you might be, ha you might hate me for that. You might be angry at me for that. You haven't told me anything about your team. You could easily have just given me two screenshots. You could have put a lot more effort into that, but instead you literally just showed me uh, an emerged image with nothing about your team, right? Absolutely not. I'm putting my foot down. I want to keep the quality of this series as good as possible. Um, if you get angry at me for that, then you get angry at me for that. I do apologize if you do, but that's just it. Anyway, Sam the City fan. I've got 650k. Vardy, Ozil, Robertson, and Nestor are untradeable. I play this in game. Okay. 650k. What would I do? Uh, De Bruyne. I'd say De Bruyne. De Bruyne and Aubameyang. I'm not saying... Don't go with uh, with the new De Bruyne. Um, go with... Oh, I mean, what's, what is this card? How much is this card? 250k for this card. What kind of improvements has it got? No massive improvements, but it's a cool dynamic image. That's only 497 now. What console are you on? You're on Xbox. How much is it on Xbox? 515. And how much is Aubameyang on Xbox? Uh, 515 and 115. You could afford getting Aubameyang over Lacazette and De Bruyne at Cam. And you've got an amazing team there. That is all I'd do for that. A team uh, before is a 7... After is an eight and a half, I'd say, definitely. I get the special De Bruyne and, uh, and Aubameyang, 100%. The next one is from Alex, who says, Martin, wait, what? <laughs> I'm going to rate it, but I, I don't, I think he might have like been tabbed out or something. I think he was tabbed out. That's quite funny. Uh, Martinez, Alan, Ramos, tradable. The rest are untradable. Uh, 40K, soon to be 90K. Okay. Wow. I like the SBC cards. This is quite fun. Obviously, plays are off chem and things like that. Uh, what would I do with this team? I would probably just look to get like an inter center mid here um, or someone that's going to get you onto full chemistry here. I think an inter player is probably the uh, easiest way to get you full chem. Um, in terms of inter players, who actually is there? I can't think of any inter players here, but if you can find a good inter center mid or a good inter midfielder or someone that you can, you know, replace with someone else in game, uh, maybe inter strike, maybe like a Lukaku or something like that. Uh, I would personally do that. It's going to get you full chemistry, um, obviously with the icon. Obviously, uh, Ramos doesn't get full chemistry, unfortunately. But uh, I guess with Ramos not getting chemistry, maybe maybe you don't want to get Lukaku. Hmm. Yeah, it's a difficult one. Maybe keeping it the same way until you can afford an icon there, probably actually. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna retract that and say until you can afford to get an icon there, uh, I personally probably just keep it the same way. Um, and then eventually when you can get an icon, obviously Martinez is going to right cam, so he gets the link with Politano. Uh, 
I think his name's Tanelli. I can't remember. The, the Basically, this this purple card here is going into midfield uh, to get the link with Nesta. And then uh, you're getting an icon at your left camera spot, probably. I'd say that's probably definitely the, uh, the best uh, shot for that. Uh, I give that team a solid... Um, for all the colors and the specials and stuff like that, I'm going to give that a solid eight and a half, actually. Uh, giving it a very high mark. And we're going to call this one the last episode. I do apologize for the... Uh, for, for little man Steph, I do apologize. He's actually in the streams and stuff all the time. Steph, I do apologize, mate. Stop by one of the streams and I'll check your team out on a stream. Um, anyway, Bertie's team now. This is my team at the moment. Benzema, Haji, Oxlade, Chamberlain, and all of my bench are untradeable. I have 100,000 coins to improve it. Uh, I'm willing to save up. I play a 4 3 3 4 in game and start as a 4 3 2 1. Thoughts. Um, what would I do with this team? Where is your weak spot? Is the first thing I'd say. I don't think you've actually got a weak spot. Maybe. Maybe. No, I guess Baresi actually probably. I'm guessing Baresi's stats look really good. I've got, I've got baby Baresi and I really like him. Oh, that pace though. That pace puts me off massively. I don't know why that pace puts me off so much. Um, is that Baresi untradeable? No, he's not. He is tradable. Uh, what can you get there instead? How many coins have you got to to spend now? You've got a hundred k. You could be on over four. You could be on four hundred and seventy k. Um, how much is this card? I use this card a lot as well at the start of the game. 85. 15. I would personally go with the baby Hiero. I'd sell Baresi and get baby Hiero. That is pretty much all I do currently. Um, and I think that your next sort of, you, the next step really for you is going with a different right wing over Dembele. Um, getting like maybe a Mohamed Salah or maybe a Sterling. And then up top, you're going with like a better striker, maybe like an Aguero or a, an upgraded Firmino card or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I'd say this, this team is really solid though. I like the grind and the effort you put into it. What would I give this team out of 10? I give this team a solid 8.4 out of 10. I'd say a solid 8.4 out of 10 is pretty fair. But that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching these episodes. You guys are absolutely amazing. Make sure you follow me on Twitter uh, and try and get involved in the next one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.